ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You know, Doc, it's going to be a hell of a long walk back to Hill Valley from here. Still the safest plan. After all, we can't risk sending you back into a populated area or to a spot that's geographically unknown. You don't want to crash into some tree that once existed in the past. You don't want to crash into some tree that once existed in the past. You don't want to crash into some tree that once existed in the past. Stone is the most prevalent feature in this impressive national park. The park lies south of a reservation that accommodates Navajo Indians. This region owes its name to the park's main attraction, a rare and natural phenomenon that has transformed wood into stone. These long rocks are reminiscent of fallen trees. In fact, they are ancient formations of stone. But how could wood possibly be turned into stone? Long ago, this landscape was covered by a dense forest. Mighty rivers cut across the terrain. Water caused by heavy flooding forced dead trees to float to a low-lying swampland. the deep quagmire of the swamp, and having, in effect, been hermetically sealed, the trees were subsequently covered by layers of sediment. Thus, their further decomposition was halted. As the trees piled deeper and deeper into the swamp, the petrification process began. Mud, sand and volcanic ash settled above the trees that gradually absorbed minerals from the surrounding moisture. Thus, hundreds of fossil trunks developed that today are scattered across the prairie. percentage of silicon in the groundwater delayed the natural decaying process and at the same time created the amazing transformation of the trees.
Today, the petrified forests, formerly tall conifers, are the most common examples of this stone world of plants that date back to prehistory. colors of the pure quartz and various other varieties of these stone trees are quite remarkable and are in stark contrast to the bright blue of the mostly cloudless sky. area that is located close to giant logs. There are hundreds of thousands of fossilized wood specimens that lie in close proximity with one another. In this isolated area that is known as the Badlands, there is little vegetation and it is therefore quite unusual to encounter any form of wildlife. The park's main feature is the unique and fascinating world of snow and its rich array of colorful red shimmering minerals. Illuminated by the sunlight, the petrified tree trunks and their glossy red appearance have always been the subject of fantasy and imagination. According to one of the legends of the Navajo Indians, the branches of the petrified trees represent the huge bones of a legendary giant called Yetzel. You know, Doc, it's going to be a hell of a long walk back to Hill Valley from here. Still the safest plan. After all, we can't risk sending you back into a populated area or to a spot that's geographically unknown. You don't want to crash into some tree that once existed in the past. You don't want to crash into some tree that once existed in the past. You don't want to crash into some tree that once existed in the past. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free.